Akira Toriyama's final Dragon Ball project, Dragon Ball Daima, is months away from starting, and Japan has not exactly told us a lot. But luckily, I'm here, coming in clutch, with some exclusive information you're not going to hear anywhere else about some of the plot threads in Dragon Ball Daima. I'm hoping that some of this information is going to get revealed later this month at San Diego Comic Con, and whatever comes out at that event, I will obviously be covering here on the Geekdom 101 channel. So make sure that you are not only subscribed, but you have all notifications enabled. So that way you don't miss anything, because more will be revealed. Outside of a couple of things, Dragon Ball Daima will not be Dragon Ball GT 2.0. The story is very different, and so are the villains. In fact... The villains, the antagonist of Dragon Ball Daima, is something that Toriyama himself has never done before in any of the Dragon Ball works. That includes the original manga, any of the anime stuff, Dragon Ball Z, Super, and yes, even GT. The villains in Dragon Ball Daima are going to be very different than the ones from GT, and I will tell you exactly why on this video. In fact, Dragon Ball Daima is more tied into Dragon Ball Z than even I was expecting. Because the consequences of some of the events that happen in Dragon Ball Z is what directly leads to the plot of Dragon Ball Daima and the introduction of these new characters. This is very similar to when Toriyama came up with the androids and Cell when he was writing the Z portion of the story as a direct consequence of Goku destroying the Red Ribbon Army way, way back many, many years later. We're going to be exploring something brand new with Dragon Ball Daima. But in order for you to understand the future, I have to take you back to the past first, and that is the Majin Buu Saga. If you remember, during the Majin Buu Saga, the Warlock Babidi recruits members from different realms to help him get the power to hatch Majin Buu. And in that arc, we see characters like Yakun and Pui Pui and of course Sapopovich, but the crown jewel of his minions would be the Demon King himself, Dabura, otherwise known as Dabura in Japanese pronunciation. Prior to the Majin Buu Saga, Babidi went to the Demon Realm and took Dabura and made him his lieutenant, acting somewhat as Babidi's bodyguard. As the events would play out, Majin Buu would be hatched thanks to the incredible power output between Goku and Majin Vegeta's battle, and this would lead to Majin Buu turning Dabura into a cookie and eating him, killing him, and taking his place at Babidi's side. The rest of the Majin Buu art plays out the way it does, but the question is, with the king of the demon realm now dead, the demon realm is left without a ruler with an open throne. Now I want to clarify for those of you who may not remember, but the demon realm is not the same thing as hell, aka the HFIL in the censored dub. Hell is... Part of the afterlife, part of the afterworld, where dead evil people go. However, the demon realm is not that. The demon realm is a realm that exists opposite of the realm of the mortals and the realm of the Kais, the home of the demons. Now, in the past, I've discussed that Dragon Ball has had numerous demons, like the Mazoku count as being demons, even Piccolo, when he was evil, was referred to as the Demon King Piccolo. But none of these demons were really from the demon realm the way that Toriyama envisioned it. We saw a little bit of the demon realm in Dragon Ball Z and what it looked like during the fight between Gohan and Dabura. However, besides that, there hasn't been much else outside of the video games which have given us tons more lore about the demon realm. After all these years, Dragon Ball Daima will show us more. And I also want to explain that this does not mean that the Demon Realm is the only realm that will be explored in Dragon Ball Daima. But the backstory begins there. If you look at the map on your screen right now, this was drawn by Toriyama. And there's also a version here with translations. And the Demon Realm, as you can see, exists at the very, very bottom of Universe 7. But it's said to be a very large place. It's very mysterious because the guidebooks even explain that the Kais don't know much about it. 
And even though it hasn't been explicitly stated, we can assume that the other 11 universes in the Dragon Ball multiverse probably have their own version of the Demon Realm, but I cannot say that for certain because it's never been said. It's just an assumption. To learn more about the Demon Realm itself, check out the video I did back in November of 2017 called Dragon Ball's Demon Realm Explained, where I go into explicit detail about how it works and how it relates to the rest of the Dragon Ball cosmos. Dragon Ball Daima is centered around the fact that now that Dabura is dead, the throne of King of the Demon Realm is now open, and this has created turmoil. What you are about to hear is exclusive information that's not available anywhere else as of the making of this video. If you see it somewhere else, they likely took it from this. Let's hope they credit back. So, after the death of Deborah, the next in line to be the Demon King is the short guy that we see in the original Dragon Ball Daima trailer. Remember we saw this mysterious short-looking character and we speculated on what he could be? Well... He is supposed to be next in line. The problem is there are other demons in the demon realm that do not like him, that want the throne for themselves, that are going to try to compromise that, and they're going to try to take the throne away from him and prevent him from being king. So now you have a situation where you have a number of different villainous characters all secretly plotting against each other and conspiring to take each other out. Now, we've seen betrayals in Dragon Ball before. The ones that come to mind are 17 and, of course, when Majin Buu turned on Bobbidi. However, the idea of these different splinter groups disliking each other and conspiring against each other, this is exciting to me and sort of new ground for Toriyama. We see this type of stuff in Sailor Moon and other forms of fiction, even beyond just anime. But it's very rare to see it in Dragon Ball, and now we're getting it. So, these new characters and the exploration of the Demon Realm is very exciting. Now, something else you're going to see in Dragon Ball Daima is that one of these other demons is going to try to create a copy of Majin Buu. That is to say, a different Majin Buu type of demonic character. I do not have visuals on this yet, nor do I know how powerful it will become but hopefully we'll get visuals on this soon. This is just one aspect of what they're doing in Daima. Now, these demons, as far as I know, there's different types of demons in the demon realm. The one question that I'm probably going to get a lot of is, are these the legendary Makayo Shin? A long time ago, Toriyama discussed that there are malicious Kaio Shin, evil Supreme Kais, born similarly to the regular Supreme Kais that rule over the Demon Realm. But we never saw these in the Dragon Ball story. There was rumors before Battle of Gods came out that Whis could end up being a Makayo Shin. It turns out that he wasn't. But Toriyama saying this before even Super came out left us all scratching our heads thinking that maybe he forgot about this concept. Well, I cannot tell you that this is a Makayo Shin for sure, but it does seem very possible along with different types of demons that we're going to be introduced to in Dragon Ball Daima. I have been wanting to learn more about the Demon Realm for years, so now we get to actually know more, and I'm super curious about where this story is going to go and what kind of problems Goku's going to run into. Goku and the Supreme Kais may be used as pawns in the game of the demons to fight over the throne. I'm excited. That is an exclusive here from Geekdom 101. Now you know. Make sure you share this video with every Dragon Ball fan that you know because it's going to get real spicy very soon and I'm excited to learn more about all of this. Stay subscribed, enable notifications because there's a lot more to come. And if you want to learn more about the Makayo Shin and the other demons, check out the videos on your screen right now. They are crucial as a refresher before Diamond.